Hello and welcome back to It's New. We got Crystal back. She, I thought she would just retire and that would be it, but she is back. Hey, Crystal. Uh, hi, I'm back. And if anybody wonders how my vacation was, I went to Mariah Carey, so it's fantastic. Thank you. Is that, I have to Google that person. All right, we'll get what? to that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really not know who Mariah Carey is? I've heard of her. Okay. He's my best friend. Those. We go back like babies and pacifiers. I'm just saying. Good to know. <laughs> All right, so Greg, what are you talking about? Anything big going on? Yes, there's a new report that the U.S. is considering a rare antitrust move, breaking up Google and AdWords. Ooh, AdWords. And Morty. What's in the stars for the SERP as Google goes deep with Gemini? And Crystal? Hotel hijackings. Slightly less exciting than it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk about Google Search Console. Are they hiding some data from you? It depends. <laughs> Okay, so there was a report from Bloomberg, um, and it was uh, titled, the U.S. is considering a antitrust move breaking up Google. I didn't see a lot of information, like, actually in here. It was a lot of speculation, I would say. Um, and one of the things that, that they had talked about um, kind of over and over again was splitting up the ad platform um, from within Google, which is called Google Ads. Um, but the author of this article kept calling it calling it AdWords, and then later in the article called it Google Ads and then said formerly AdWords, and then the paragraph after it said AdWords. So I'm immediately like, I don't really trust this. Um, but the thought here, and Barry has a nice little write-up on it over at searchengineroundtable.com, was that they might have to have a split from the ad platform. Some of the thoughts from the Bloomberg author just made zero sense to me. They were saying, well, why Google will have to like license or distribute or allow other search engines to use the AdWords software. Um, again, it's, it's now Google ads and that just like would never, ever, ever work. Um, so if you want to read this, you can read it. There's like no information in here. And I don't know, Barry, if you thought anything differently on this, but I just, I thought it was a nothing burger of an article. Um, yeah. but I figured I could speculate on what, what I thought was going to happen. It was funny. They said pe people close to the conversations. I'm like, or who are people? I mean, like, are they part of the department? It's so, but I don't think Bloomberg would have published something like that if it was not real. Um, and then everybody else started covering it. I'm like, oh, it's considering, of course they're considering breaking up Google. That's part of this, what monopolies remedies are. Do we break them up or not? Um, but it made it sound like it's going to happen. And I don't think it would be like the, one of the, the main things does seem to be like, let's break up Android, put it somewhere else. Let's move Chrome to something else. I get that. It makes sense. Um, Google, separating Google ads from Google search. It's like, I don't, you can't do that. I don't think it's like what you do overture all over again. Yeah. I mean, the only thing I could think like I could think of is if you had something like Google ad manager where you could, or, or some sort of real time bidding and you, you had everybody at the same type of signals and you could have some sort of tool that, that could come up with something proprietary, or at least you could try to buy inventory some other way. N none of that makes sense because of the way that Google is going, like there's like broad match and things that look at your previous search history and landing pages and stuff like that. But I, that could be something where it's like, all right, you just can't have the entire Google display network. You know, you can go in and you have to allow different like real time bidding for it. Uh, but yeah, I could see that, that Android, the, the Chrome, you know, not being so preloaded with stuff. Right. And they can move off maps and other things as well. Um, I don't know. I, I just, I, it could happen. Uh, we'll see. Who knows? I, I'm sure I just, yeah. I like the thought of being like, Oh, you've got this clunky interface that is now bloated and barely loads or works. Hey, why don't you go give that to Microsoft so they can use it too? <laughs> like it doesn't work like that. It doesn't, you just can't be like, here, this, this go, it's like, no, this is like completely different than that. Like, what are you talking yeah, about? I, I assume Microsoft would, even though they have their own platform, I assume they want it because it would, it would benefit the competitors more to have that data. I mean, I assume that means like Google would have, to, I don't know. It's so like out, out there, like Google would have to give all their search query data and stuff like that. To the, it doesn't make any sense to me. I, know, no. I think there's, there's other parts of like the Google empire, the alphabet portfolio that would make, that would make more sense to parcel off than, than just yeah, like Waymo. What's sure. that? Waymo self-driving cars is very important to break off. <laughs> oh, very important. <laughs> Flying what happened cars. to the last big monopoly and breaking that one up? Nothing. So. Well, Bill Gates retired, so it worked. Yeah, we hate Bill Gates again. 
<laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. But I know we have some other exciting news around Google and Gemini. Oh, yeah. It's very exciting. Um, so many exciting things here, and it's new every single day. So Google demoed a new ability from Gemini to deep dive and produce basically articles. So you say, hey, tell me about, I don't know, how do I brew beer, whatever it is. And it comes back with the whole article. It's similar to perplexity. I've never used perplexities, but it sounds similar. Uh, where they come up with an article which has actual sources, almost like the AI overviews have those like little link insertions in there. And maybe that's the new way people will go and search for things. They'll go tell Gemini, go research this thing. And Gemini will come back with a Google Doc full of information with sources across the web, theoretically, hopefully. I don't know if like that's what it's going to be. I have been a big, big, big advocate of the idea that pay more attention to what's happening with Gemini than paying more attention to what's happening with the AI, AI overviews. I speculate, but you had to ask me like some kind of like in between of what this is with with these this new um, Gemini research and what the AI overview currently is will be what the AI overviews become, meaning a custom result uh, format that is a little bit deeper, a little bit more varied in in the media presentation that Google gives you in the AI overview with those links inserted into it. So it's kind of like a kind of like a in between what you currently have now. And what Google's doing here with this whole Gemini document creation, I kind of feel like where that's where the AI overview will eventually end up. Yeah, I don't know. I think the AI overviews are too too long already. I think people just want like tell me what to do in like one line or less. So I don't know. I, I mean, I think what Google showed in research, yeah, it's Google research, Gemini research, and they want to give you detailed documents. I don't think that's the future in terms of like it's just too much. I mean, no, I don't mean like you can like sure, do but... thing on the SERP, but I think like you'll yeah. have something where you can go a little bit deeper with it, and you can get like because there's another Gemini format which they demoed originally, which gave you a custom format depending upon the query. So if I'm Google, if I'm searching for rather like um, ideas for my kid's birthday party, and then I, I do a different search for recipes for tacos. I get a completely different layout experience and type of res and type of results that show up. That's what I meant. Not like this long document thing. That's yeah. clearly crazy. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. of variation. I think people are trying lots of things. I was on Bing today and they've got a bunch of different AI summaries. They've got AI stories. They've got AI carousels. They've got stuff on the side. They've got lots of stuff. So I think that we should see a lot of experimentation over the next few few months from search engines. Um, so this, so yeah, this is an interesting iteration. Yeah. Bing throws everything, everything AI at the wall. It's, it's kind of hard to look at it so much, there's but a, I do, a lot going on. I, I do think the future, and this is my crystal ball and you could document it. The future of AI in search is short answers with a lot of follow-up conversations. No, yeah. I meant that. No, I meant like, it's kind of how you like, you talk like, like a baby talks, a kid talks to their like mother or father. It's like short answers. No, this, and then. What, but what about this? No, that. And then it just goes like that. I don't think people could consume that much information. What a utopia. <laughs> <laughs> but if we need to be go to hotels, are we in luck, Crystal? Yeah, I mean, speaking of utopia and like people doing only altruistic things, um, we've had some reports from some folks in Indonesia or working in the Indonesian market that um, there has been a there has been a hijacking of um of certain content so we're seeing that hotel listings um are getting getting hijacked with whatsapp numbers so a week or so someone reached out about this um now um navina in in no sorry ivanova um posted on x saying massive attack wave hitting indonesia and uae attackers are integrating personal whatsapp numbers into google listings in indonesia while uae faces a coordinated attack changing legit hotel titles to permanently closed. She warns you to stay vigilant and monitor your GBP. So if you see some different, some some changes in your GBP action in the in the next little while, you might want to check in on, on your listings. Um, this isn't the first time that, that uh, GBP listings have been hacked or tampered with. Um, previously, we've seen sort of local service ads, reviews being hijacked. Previously, we've also seen um, some other people marking hotels as, or, you know, different businesses as closed when they should be behaving better. So in, in this utopia of the future, hopefully people will, will stop doing things like this so that we can have nice things. 
Yeah, at least once Google, uh, somebody marked Google's like New York office as closed as a joke just to see how easy it was. Um, that was ages ago. It's good time. I love Google business profiles and the Google local maps because it's still like the wild, wild west of SEO even today. And this just shows it again. It's just sad to see this stuff happening. And it's even more important for Google to send out notifications to the Google business profile owner saying this was changed. Do you want this to be changed? And they don't always do that. So it's an issue. Right, right. This is and and I think that, you know, for for a lot of businesses, particularly really small businesses, it can be their main main point of, of web traffic. So these can be really, really important. So yeah, Google should make it so that they're a bit more tight in terms yeah. of security. Yeah, in terms of showing more information, also Google Search Console has these new recommendations, which we covered while I think Crystal was away, but they're really cool. Um, th one of the notices in there in the preview, and then more and more people are seeing it as of yesterday, actually, I don't still see it because Google hates me, but Google says showing Search Console only shows 35% of your performance data. And we're like, what do you mean Google Search Console only shows 35% of your performance data? Shouldn't it show me everything? And the answer is, it depends. And this is not new. Back in July of 2022, Patrick Stocks of ARF basically said that Google on average shows 50% of search query, query data, the rest is anonymized or just not shown because of whatever purposes, but we could get you that data. Now there's a lot of people who, who are doing like these exports saying, use our service, we'll give you all your data. And John Mueller basically says, well, most many sites actually get all or most of their data. Um, this is not new. And he's right, it's not new. We covered it back again of 2022 and, and so forth. But if you have a large site with a lot of uh, query data, Google may go ahead and lump a lot of the query data together, or may anonymize it for privacy reasons and so forth. So if you do want all your data, you could definitely bulk export it to you know BigQuery or other tools. Um, but just keep in mind, just because that screenshot showed 35% of performance data is not there, um, doesn't mean, or is there and whatever, doesn't mean that everybody has that. And I'm surprised Google used that as a screenshot for this because everybody was like, now it's like Google's you know hiding stuff from me. Why would they use that? I don't get why would they use that as an example, but the wow, least of their like pause lately these recommendations are starting uh, starting off swimmingly here it's reminiscent of ad words <laughs> <laughs> yes actually it first happened with google when it came to not provide remember that not provided that was like big big news in the search community what do you mean google's not giving my data now it's like we just live with it we just accept it that google's not giving us query data all because of aol and that woman who Remember that moment from AOL, who did that search on AOL that was able to track down all our information based on the AOL hack? It was. I don't know if it was that, but it was one of those things that Google referenced saying, if we don't protect your data and the data gets out there, then we could go ahead and use that to actually find a specific search trend for a specific individual and all, her, all that person's privacy is out the window. So thank you, Google, for not showing us our data because you're saving privacy. Great. Sounds great. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Uh, we're going to end it here, and we'll be back tomorrow with more search news. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.